All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak Wadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabab from GMS Heavy Honor 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. Just coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right, and as you can see on the screen, and what kind of prompted this video is the fact that here it is our people still have their uh, hearts and their minds and trust in their goddamn enemy, man. All right. It's been said over and over history reports. You can read books, magazines, uh, uh, pretty much go to your local downtown district, whatever it may be, wherever you are at. In, uh, I'm mainly speaking about uh, uh, Babylon 2.0 right now, America. Because a uh, majority of you, the downtowns in uh, in uh, in America, uh, I know at least down south, you can tell that they were uh, predominantly uh, white shopping areas where where the, where so-called uh, white people shopped back in the days. That man, I know that's how it is down here in um in South Carolina, man. Like the, the downtown business uh, district was like one of those uh, uh and, and more so in the smaller like smaller cities and, and major even major cities now, you know, because um pretty much those downtown areas were were um uh predominant areas where um where esau would live man all right where esau would shop and etc etc but um not to uh, get far off subject just the, the fact that our people's minds are entrusting in this goddamn devil the system the society everything pretty much they're trusting in their damn enemy man when the scriptures tell us what never trust thine enemy man all right, now I just wanted to show this quick video and get a few scripts and um, and that be that with this particular um, uh, image that's on the screen. But as you see the image, it said one of the scariest enemies on earth are those people who pretend to be your friend. And when I saw this, I said, yo, Esau fits this to the T, man, because Esau pretends to be your friend all the time, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. When the scriptures tell us what, let's get real quick. Sirach, Ecclesiastes 12 and 10, it says, never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. So this is the Lord letting you know that you have enemies. And with your enemies, you're to never trust your damn enemies. For like as iron rusteth, so of his wickedness, man. All right, so this devil is only getting more wicked, more wickeder and wickeder, man. All right, this devil is not upright, man. This devil does not have you in his his best interest, man. All right, this devil mind is fully set on destroying you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, as I said, man, throughout history, man, you can you can look around and you can see that, man. Like you can go to, like I say, your local downtown areas. You can go to drive in the so-called Jake neighborhoods and look at how they're run down and how our people are shopping with goddamn Esau now, man. Instead of shopping with their own people, man. All right, because why is that? Because they have chosen to trust their enemy. All right, and they, and and pretty much they adapt and, and they want to be their enemy, man. All right, the scriptures say you not envy not your oppressors, and our people are envious of this goddamn devil, and they don't understand that the devil is the is the third category of men. All right, the basis of all men. All right, this devil is not who you want to be like, man. All right, but see, our people are in this mind frame right here, man. All right, trusting in the devil, as we just read, never trust thine enemy. All right, it says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his hearts. His words were softer than oil, yet were their drawn swords. Okay, just like this picture here, man. All right, one of the scariest enemies on earth are those people who pretend to be your friend. And Esau is constantly pretending to be you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans' friend, man. All right, your local politicians. That's why the scripture says it's better to trust in the Lord than put your confidence in man and princesses because our people are trusting their, in this economy. They're trusting their government. They're trusting their officials. Like, hey, our people are getting amped up and getting ready to goddamn it vote, man. All right, voting for your damn enemy, man. Voting for a new oppressor, man. Someone to further oppress you, man. All right, and instead of seeking and looking for the Lord in the times that we're in, our people are still in that stupid-ass mind frame of thinking that a vote is going to make a difference, man. All right. When when this devil mind 
is, is, is pursuing Ezekiel 35, man. This devil mind is 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 to have a perpetual hatred towards you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Towards the Lord's chosen people, man. This is why we got to snap. Our people got to snap up out of that illusion, man. But see, once again, the Lord is going to have the elect that's going that that's that's out of that illusion, man. All right, that, that's why the scriptures say um that the God of this world has blinded the mind. See the the, the hopeful election, man. All right, our minds are not blinded to the to the ways of, of this world, man. All right, our minds, because because the spirit of the Lord has shined His light upon us, and we're out of that goddamn darkness of this world, man. All right, and so now we're now we're what we're, we're contending for our crown, man. We're fighting for our crown, fighting for salvation, man. All right, now I wanted to get um real quick Ecclesiastes, cause um uh, what was that six? Because it goes into a description about um a faithful friend, man. All right, because when I saw this uh, particular um, this uh, particular image, all right, it made me think about a, a few scriptures. First and foremost, about the devil having swords drawn. All right, his his eyes are privily set against you, pursuing the Psalms chapter ten, and definitely never trust thine enemy, as we just read that, right? Because what, once again, it says one of the scariest enemies on earth are those people who pretend to be your friend all right and all these niggas uh our enemies are always consistently pretending that they're our friends and that 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 we're for that they're doing things for the best interest of the negroes latinos and native americans when this devil came out with that jab what was he saying our, our, is our mission to um to to um to get the, the the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they didn't quite say it like that, but that's what they that's what they were alluding to. I think they said the African Americans, the Native Americans, and um, Latino Americans. They wanted to get uh, those people jabbed up first, so they could be uh, covered and protected. But see, that was all to trick you, man. This is the the, the penalty of when you trust your enemy, man. All right, because the scriptures tell us it's better to put our faith and our trust in the Most High. Once again, pursuing the Psalms one eighteen and eight. All right, now back uh, once again off this image, it says, real quick, Sirach chapter six, and and um, what I want to start at, um, verse seven. But I I want to kind of we just go through the spirit. All right, because I I want to read thirteen, and I kind of want to jump back up to seven. So um, I'm gonna just read thirteen first. Sirach six and seven. Ecclesiasticus and Apocrypha. It says, separate thyself from thine enemies and take heed of thy friends. Now, the scripture says, separate thyself from thine enemies and take heed of thy friends. See, the Lord is saying, take or uh, be aware of the, the company that you keep, so to speak, man. But the Lord also said, what separates yourself from your enemy. So if you're separating yourself from your enemy, guess what? You're not going to trust your damn enemy if you're separating yourself away from him, man. And then the Lord says, take heed right take heed of thy friends okay be mindful of, of 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 who you call your friends okay now i'm going to jump right back up and i'm going to come right back down now now it says uh Sirach six and seven it says if thou wouldest get of a friend prove him first and be not hasty to credit him all right because throughout time uh, it tells whether you have a solid friend man all right, because a lot of this society, they're so haste to be like, oh, that's my friend. That's my dog. That's my homie. That's my girl. Oh, that's my chick. You know what I'm saying? And these be the main ones that double cross you. That's why the scripture said, take heed of thy friends, man. All right. Now, mind you, the scripture said, if thou would get it for friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. Meaning that, you, hey, if someone, like, someone's going to have to prove that they're your friend. All right. Prove that they're for your best interest. Prove that they're uh, about uh, uh, adding. All right. And, and y'all adding to each other, man. Like like a script say, iron sharpened of iron. See, brothers in, in the faith. All right. A, a, a brothers is brothers a, a, and friends as well, man. All right. Because with that iron sharpening iron and we're, 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 we're um, helping one another out, man. We're, sharp, we're keeping each other sharp, man. All right. And that's what a good friend does, man. All right. Now, you how was my being the ultimate friend, the ultimate best friend, man. All right. Because the Lord gave us this knowledge, this wisdom and understanding. The Lord gave us a chance at salvation. All right. Now we're going to jump back down to uh, uh, Sirach uh, uh, 6 and 13. All right. Now it says, separate thyself from thine enemies and take heed of thy friends. 
A faithful friend is a strong defense. Now, that right there, got to be talking about Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man, because Yahweh Shai Mashiach is, is a true faithful friend, someone that's not going to double cross you, someone that's not going to turn his back on you, all right? As long as, hey, with the most highs, if, if you are doing what the Lord commands you to do, the Lord is going to be there for you, man. And that's why I said he's a strong defense, man. All right. Because, hey, the Lord is, a, is is definitely a strong defense, man. All right. Because, hey, we're going to need the Lord in times that we're in right now, man. But, hey, the Lord is, is saying what? Be faithful, man. All right. Proving yourselves to the Lord, man. Doing what it takes, man. Doing things to please the Heavenly Father, man. If you happen to go off, hey, don't be so big to say that. Don't be too big to not correct yourself and repent, man. A lot of our people are in that mind frame where they don't like to repent and they don't like to pray. They don't like to fast, man. But you got to be in a, a, a repentful praying and fasting state of mind, man. The scriptures tell you to pray without ceasing, man. All right. Now it says a faithful friend, all right, a, a, a true friend is a is a strong defense and he that have found such as one hath found a treasure. All right. Nothing doth con contravail a faithful friend. And his ex excellency is unvaluable. A faithful friend is a medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. All right, hey, how was Shai Mashiach being that faithful friend, man? All right, and also, hey, in, in this ministry, man, brothers that sincerely believe, all right, the believers of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, hey, this is our family, man. This is our this is our friends, man. All right. Uh, a strong defense because you can call on a brother man whenever you're going through something man a brother can can, can be that medicine uh, in, in the spirit of Yahweh Shai Mashiach because that, as the scripture just said he that find of him all right uh, uh, and they that fear the Lord shall find him man all right so the ones that sincerely fear the Lord guess what and they're going to be amongst a uh, 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 like-minded individuals man all right the, the ones that the Lord consider friends man uh, I can't roughly paraphrase the Lord said um uh, he don't look at um, he, he's not looking at us as servants, but as friends, just roughly paraphrasing, though, you know, we're still servants of the Lord. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, you know, but Yahweh Shai was saying that um, that he consider us uh, our friends. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that real quick. Let me hold hold that. Let me see. I believe it's in John, brothers and sisters. Bear with me one second. Uh. Yep, John 15 and 15, it says, this is the words of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. It says, ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. And Brachtayah Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so if the Most High is considering us uh, friends, man, all right, hey, hey, we, we're still in that servant mind frame, man, because, hey, man, hey, it, it's a truly an honor and a blessing that the Most High is, is even dealing with us, man, as we pray on a consistent basis, Lord, don't take your Holy Spirit away from us, man. Let the Lashawam Kadash always dwell with us, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Let your name always be with us, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, forgive us for our, for our sins, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, help us every day, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Azanayah, man, that's help. Help me, help me. Azanayah, help us, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, now, and this is the words of Yahweh Shai Mashiach saying, if we do what he commands us to do, he consider us friends, man. All right? Now, when we go back to the Sirach, chapter 6 and 13, and we read on down, some, and, and it says, a faithful friend is a medicine of life, man. And, and it's not Yahweh Shai, that medicine that we need in this life, man, to sustain, man. This wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability in our latter times that we're in, man. All right? And it said his excellency is invaluable, man. All right? You can't put a price tag on a true friend, man. There's no price tag. Hey, hey, if we're part of the election, I'll be right as we are, man. There's no price tag that you can put on that. That's priceless, man. A true friend, man. All right. Uh, verse 17, it says, Whosoever feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall the neighbor be also. All right. So, hey, man, going back to that fear of the Lord is, is wisdom and instruction. The Lord is going to guide you in the direction and put you in the, in the midst of where you need to be at, man. All right. Because if you're in the ways of this world, guess what? You're going to be around worldly like people, man. But if you fear the Lord, all right, and if you're trying to the best of your abilities to keep the statute laws and commandments, all right, and forsaking this world, the Lord is going to put you in the midst of, 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 of righteousness, man. 
All right. The Lord's going to put you in that right path. He's going to put you in that uh, right uh, uh, um, uh, a group or that right uh, congregation of, of, of men that fear him. All right. Because the fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. All right. And, and there's only a few good men in this world that fear the Lord, man, because you have a lot of uh, dudes of the circumcision that claim they fear the Lord, but their action, as the scriptures tell us in Titus, man, with, with their deeds, man, they, 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 they show that they don't fear the Lord at all, man. They don't have a fear of the Lord, man. All right. But as I said, this just was a quick video to, um, to, um, highlight that image that I showed Shalaki and, um, uh, I tried to show it again, but my phone doing some janky shit. So, um, Shalaki brothers and sisters, but Abba Ratzazah, this quick video, video was edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. So I'm going to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time, I say Shalom.